and we are thrilled to be joined right now by Gotham FC's Jenna Nyswanger. Jenna, hello. Thank you for taking your time out with us today. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you guys for having me. I'm excited to be on the show. We have Dara Torres and Tina Servasio with you right now. Jenna, this is huge for Gotham FC. The, you guys won your first ever NWSL playoff game. Now you face the reigning champ, the Portland Thorns, with national team members like Sophia Smith and Crystal Dunn on that squad. What is going to be some of the keys to win for Gotham? Um, I think just staying true to ourselves, um, knowing that no matter who we're playing against, we're good enough to take on any team and having confidence in what we've been working on throughout the season. Um, yeah, just taking it one game at a time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we've been working so hard. We're so confident in the team that we have and the coaching staff with the tips and advice that they're giving us that we know that we can go out there and give the Portland Thorns a good game. Jenna, Dara Torres here. You guys are the sixth seed out of six teams. Does this lessen the pressure a little bit for you, considering people really aren't gunning for you? Definitely not. No, I think that since we've come together as a team in January, we've had our sights set on winning the championship. So just because we're six seed, it doesn't matter how we get there, but all that matters is that we're getting to the final. Jenna, you talk about the team coming together in January, but of course you had that World Cup break and Gotham FC had six players leave for the World Cup, come back, including some of the U.S. players like Lynn Williams and Kelly O'Hara. Was there something from their experience that they brought back, you know, playing on the biggest stage that you were able to gain some knowledge and inspiration from? Yeah, I just think that we have such great leadership on this team, like Lynn Williams, Esther, um, yeah, all the players that went to the World Cup, obviously they're gaining so much experience and you can tell that they know how to handle the big game. So um, just leaning on them and their leadership to help us through the semifinals and hopefully the finals. Jenna, you're talking about leadership here. Is there anyone since you were a rookie that's really taken you under their ring wing? Um, I mean, the first name that stands out to me the most is Allie Krieger. She's been so helpful to me, especially because I've been playing a new position this year. I'm not normally left back. And um, she's just been so helpful in taking all the time that she can to help me and give me confidence and really take me under her wing and help me learn the new position. Yeah, Jenna, when you, you stepped in for Allie, she went out of the game injured. You move, you've always been an attacking midfielder, moved to that fullback position. What was the challenge for you in that transition, but also how has it worked for the team? Yeah, it was definitely a big challenge. Um, I was very nervous coming into the game, but um, the team has been so helpful with me and helping me through that new position and players like Allie Krieger, Kristen Edmonds, Ellie Jean with so much experience. They've been so helpful to me in helping me through the new position, giving me confidence. And I think it's just been helpful to the team. And I've really enjoyed playing it because I feel like I've played, been able to play a big role at left back and um, help the team attacking and defending at the same time. I think it's just a fun position to be involved in both areas of the game. You know, in college, obviously the NIL is huge now. It's a great platform to be able to earn money. You've actually donated some of your money to breast cancer awareness. Talk a little bit about that. Um, so this one of the school our stores at Florida State, it's called Garnet and Gold. They decided to have a jersey created with my name on it just to sell to soccer fans. And I decided to donate the money, a thousand dollars of the money that I earned to um breast cancer research awareness, I think that's what it called. But um, yeah, just give to give my money back. Obviously, breast cancer affects so many different people. Like my grandma's had it um, and she passed away, unfortunately. And like my mom had it, but um, she's doing well now and everything. Um, and I just think, yeah, giving back was just a good decision. And this um, store that I was selling the jerseys at Garnet and Gold. They decided to match my donation, so they donated a thousand dollars as well. So it just uh, ended up going to a great cause, and um, yeah, I was just happy to be able to do that. And I'm so happy that Garnet and Gold did the same thing. And I mean, we're happy to hear that your mom's doing well, and that was just so noble of you. Really inspirational, Jenna. Jenna, this uh, Gotham FC club has uh, you know, gone over a lot of brand changes over the years. Obviously, this is your first year, but. With the ownership group like New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, 
I mean, soccer legend Carly Lloyd, and then you also have Giants legend Eli Manning, all part of the ownership group. What kind of an impact did they have on that club? What have you enjoyed about that? Um, I think just having owners that come from greatness is very inspiring. Um, we want to do well by them, and I think just do well for the team. I think there's so much potential at this club that is untapped even now. Um, you've seen people coming, more people coming out to our games and more investment in the club. And I think that that's just now the beginning. And when you have owners like Carly Lloyd and Eli Manning, they're going to want to invest in sports. And you mentioned about more people coming out to the games. You guys play at Red Bull Arena in Harrison, New Jersey. You had some incredible crowds at some games this year. And you share, obviously, the arena with the Red Bulls, who are also in the postseason. Is there any kind of relationship between the NWSL team and the MLS team there in New Jersey? Um, we share the facility with the academy. I mean, there's not really that much of a relationship, but I think it's just like mutual respect, obviously, among both teams. Um, we're excited to see them in the playoffs, and I hope that they're excited to see us in the playoffs, and we're wishing them the best. I mean, clearly, you guys have opposite schedules because you're playing when they're away, and they're playing yeah. when you got at home when you're away. Well, Jenna, thank you so much for joining us. The best of luck in the NWSL semifinals against the Portland Thorns as you play for Gotham FC representing New York and New Jersey. Thank you.